The meaning of life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Pablo Picasso. Welcome and I'm so glad that you're here. Here we talk about personal development, relationships and mental health, just to name a few. My name is Carmen, a registered counsellor who is passionate about coming alongside people. This podcast is designed to create a discussion and bring awareness with each episode encouraging, equipping and empowering you to live your best life. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to another episode. How are you keeping? I hope you're keeping well. I've got a question for you. So when you were young, what did you want to be when you grow up? And are you doing that very thing today? If you had asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up, a counsellor wouldn't even have crossed my mind. So it's most probably fair to say that life is filled with surprises, twists and turns, and sometimes it even goes to plan. However, either way, having a reason or a why can help us in more ways than one. And on that topic, in this episode, we unpack purpose and why we can't live without it. Have you ever asked yourself, what gives my life meaning? Why am I here? Or what should I do with my life? I certainly have. And purpose can look different for each of us. It doesn't have to be extravagant. However, it does need to be something meaningful and worthwhile that aligns with our values and the things we are passionate about. It's known that having a sense of purpose in life is important for our mental well-being and can help us live a more fulfilled and content life. Together, we will look at what is so great about having a sense of purpose, why we can't live without purpose, and how our sense of purpose goes beyond ourselves. So starting with number one, what is so great about having a sense of purpose? Well, research has shown us that having a sense of purpose is linked to a greater sense of happiness, healthy habits, which can look like regular exercise, eating healthy foods and watching less TV, stronger personal relationships, wealth, better health including sleep quality, longevity, reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease, and better mental health. However, on the other hand, what is not so great is when we don't have a sense of purpose, which leads us to number two, and why we can't live without purpose. So I'm not referring to trying to work things out and testing the waters and seeing what it is that you want to be about but it's simply not having or not pursuing a sense of purpose. A lack of purpose in our lives can leave us feeling bored, dissatisfied, empty and feeling hopeless. A lack of purpose can also contribute to depression and anxiety, especially when we can't see a way beyond these unpleasant feelings. Experiencing a lack of purpose in life can also isolate us from our friends and loved ones, leaving us feeling lonely. A lack of purpose has a ripple effect and impacts others, which sets the table for our third point, which is our sense of purpose goes beyond ourselves. Have you ever thought that we're living in the fruit of someone else's sense of purpose. Perhaps our doctors, teachers, police officers, inventors and the like. I'm reminded of a time in my study journey 
when I was trying to figure out what my purpose of helping people actually looked like. Sometimes I would sit at my desk to study and everything in me wanted to throw in the towel. And one evening, sitting in front of my laptop, with tears streaming down my face, a thought came to mind. Who is on the other side of your choices and sacrifices? It was then I could take my eyes off myself and just keep taking one step in front of the other. So fast forward now, when I witness a client reach their goals and gain new insights, it reminds me that there is a bigger picture that we are all a part of and our purpose goes beyond ourselves. One of my favourite Les Brown quotes is, the wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that were never ever exposed to, ideas, dreams, that never became a reality, hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. Perhaps the purpose of this quote is not to create a sense of doom and gloom, but to encourage us to live life on purpose. So on a finishing note, now that we've looked at what is so great about having a sense of purpose, why we can't live without purpose, and how our sense of purpose goes beyond ourselves, I wonder if you would answer the following questions differently. What gives your life meaning? What are you here to do? And what should you do with your life? I will leave you with those thoughts. And until next time, you take good care of yourself. So that's it for today's episode. As always, I'm grateful for the opportunity to come alongside you. If you know someone who might benefit from hearing this episode, why not share it with them? Don't want to miss an episode? You can subscribe to the podcast. And if you are listening via Apple Podcast, I would be most grateful if you would leave a review. For more content, head over to carmendebono.com.au and I look forward to coming alongside you again on the first Wednesday of the month.